the geology of Devil's Den is quite interesting. This area is formed by York Haven Diabase, which according to the Pennsylvania Geological Survey is 201.2 million years old. And basically, it's an intrusion of igneous rocks, uh, hardened molten magma that was forced up through the center of the earth. And as the softer sediments and soils erode away, more and more of these rocks are exposed. And of course, as more and more of these rocks are exposed, the more and more that the rocks erode. And what's fascinating is you can go around Devil's End, you can see areas where rocks were uh, once attached to other large rocks and have split and fallen off. And this particular rock I am standing on, you can actually see where it used to be up there attached to the rock behind it. We actually have an account of this, and it's by, again, a manual Bushman, who was somewhat of a local storyteller in the 1880s. And he actually was born not far from Devil's End, lived in the town of ba Gettysburg at the time of the battle. And he explained in one of his articles, by the way, it is not generally known that there was a large rock knocked off by a bolt of lightning, which perhaps would have weighed 20 tons. The late Reverend Joseph Sherfy told me that he recollected the night it happened very well when it was split off by a thunderbolt. He saw it the next morning. It was immediately to the right of the open cavern. And there's little doubt that he's talking about this specific boulder. Now, if this incident is true, which I have grave reservations about, this would have occurred prior to the Civil War because the earliest photographs of this area indicate that this was already split off at, uh, before uh, Alexander Gardner is recording his photographs and Matthew Brady in uh, July of 1863. But uh, this rock also has a name. And we're not sure exactly when it first got this name, but we do know that Jim Tate, uh, a tour guide who had been a tour guide for 65 years, he died in his 90s. He said when he was a kid that this was called the Devil's Bath. And we have lots of things named after the devil. The Devil's Den, the Devil's Bath, the Devil's Slipper. And this is just one of those areas close by that uses that name and apparently the devil who was the giant snake after he would eat kids up in the devil's kitchen he would often come down here and take a bath in the water that was collected in this the bowl in this rock so then we get a view of the water and you can come up here today and you can see the water in the rock a vestige of this uh you know ancient folklore